Take me back to the time we would talk all night. The best advice I've ever received is to stay young at heart. I remember once I got on this kind of like tip of like writing songs about peace and love and you know, writing all the you know, writing all these songs that I thought would change the world. And I met Bono and I said to him, What's what's the best way of um, doing that? And he said, Don't try it. There was a world party we all had in Singapore for the MTV Music Awards back in the day. And it was Blue, the Black Eyed Peas, Gareth Gates was there, there was a whole bunch of people. Mr. Lee Ryan decided to drink a whole bottle of Jack Daniels to himself. Woke him up the next day because we had to do loads of interviews. And um, all I remember was we were so hungover and we put a pair of glasses on Lee because he couldn't actually move. So we were sat next to him like this and he was like weekend at Bernie's. He was just sat there like that. <laughs> and we did all the talking around him. One that springs to mind is Britney Spears had a really amazing film out and it went to the premiere of that, which was quite interesting. And um, we managed to blag our way into the VVIP area, me and the boys, and we ended up jumping on a bed and just jumping up and down, having a pillow fight with the lady herself. When we were in Byron Bay, they wanted me to jump out of an aeroplane at 14 and a half thousand feet and be filmed doing it. And I literally was so scared. I made my makeup artist girl jump out first to make sure that she would survive. We were doing like some night gig in Germany many years ago. And it was the, the, the longest and tallest and fastest and uh, roller coaster in the world. Um, I think it went on for about 20 miles, I don't know, at the time. And I actually did myself. The scariest thing I ever did was the jungle, I'd say. Because I'm afraid of spiders and I'm afraid of water. One of the things that, that they gave me, one of the tasks, involved both spiders and water at the same time. I split my head open. Great memories. It was in Asia, and we used to have this thing in the tour bus where we, you know, we do boys' things. You know what I mean? Ladies present and that. But you can imagine um, the old, and we used to like judge if it was a good one or a bad one. And I think one of the lads let one let one rip and end up, you know, messy, messy, messy day. Well, I'll just say that Lee would probably be the most entertaining and Simon would be quite practical but Anthony's really rubbish at like cooking and he's not very practical so we probably wouldn't be able to eat much or kill anything because I couldn't kill anything. I think Lee would be a good, like, Wilson. I think I'd really enjoy it, if I'm honest. I think the boys would adapt well, but I think I'd probably, I, I, I'd enjoy it probably the most, I think. If I had to rely on someone, the strongest influence would probably, for me, would be Simon. Um, and the worst would be Anthony, because he, he's, he's not going to be able to do anything, he can't boil an egg. I've been stood up, and I stood people up, which is really bad. I've never stood anybody up. Yes, I've been stood up. Do you know what? I've never been stood up on a date. And I can honestly say that if I did, I would, I would say it, mate. I'm a man, I don't give a monkey's. I'd, I'd say it is. I've stood a few ladies up back in the day. Yeah, of course I have.